What's up, Itova? My name is Andrea, and today I'll be reacting to an amazing video, the best food in every state of the US. I love food. I will also try to share my European perspective with you guys, but this should be a good one. I'm really curious to see what you guys are cooking in America. If in the end, or even right now, you want to leave a like on this video, thank you so much for that. It's the best way to show support. If you like this type of content, also consider to subscribe. One small detail, maybe a big, a big one for you. English, not my main language. Any mispronunciations, I'm sorry for that. Let's go into the video and see what this is about. Ready, Actually, I will also play a game. If I like the, or at least if I like the presentation of the food, I would say if I would eat or pass. Or a, or a maybe to think to make things a bit easier, probably. Mouthwatering journey from crispy fried green tomatoes to. By the way, so many states in America it blows my mind. Silky slippery dumplings and the underdog food favorite indulge in the number one comfort foods across states, north okay. and south. Made from thick, chunky slices of fresh green tomato that have been dipped in egg and flour or cornmeal and then fried to golden perfection. Mm. Tomatoes, really? That's it. Fried green tomatoes are the Ooh, that looks good. Never mind. I'm sold already. That looks kind of good. Not a big fan of tomatoes, but I, I bet that tastes really, really nice. The epitome of classic With some cooking. sauce. The dish Ooh. started as a way to use up unripe tomatoes before they could spoil and has grown into a staple of al But frying stuff is a bit cheating, right? Because everything look everything probably is nice uh, that way, but okay. Alabama home cooking. Tangy and savory with a satisfying crunch in every bite. These Montgomery faves only get better when dipped in a bit of remoulade mm. or spicy mayonnaise. That looks good. Throughout Alaska, king crab legs are a favorite regardless of whether they've been Ugh. Pass. Boiled, grilled, steamed. Seafood is not my thing, by the way. If there is a lot of seafood here, big pass. I like some fish, but this type of stuff, big no-no for me. Steamed or baked, tender, sweet, and succulent oh, on yikes. their own, and only better when dipped in a vat of butter, the king crab has come to serve as a symbol of Alaska's resilience. Harvested I respect that. Cold waters of the Bering Sea, this prized delicacy wow, what is a beautiful a animal, actually. Locals who get to enjoy it at its freshest. Chimichangas are made from grilled tortillas that have been Arizona. filled with ingredients ranging from shredded chicken to beef <laughs> to pork Oof. and are then rolled oh, up like okay. a Oh, okay. We have a winner maybe already. Who this is the, the top of the top stuff. I love all of that. Oh, man. Is this pulled pork? Oof. And deep fried until golden brown. An Arizona favorite, they provide everything you could want in a classic comfort food. Satisfying crunch, hot savory filling, and mouthwatering toppings like sour cream, hot sauce, and guacamole. It's enough to make even the saltiest superhero fall in love. Time to make the chimmy chongas. That stuff was insanely good. Who I would eat that. Chicken and dumplings are typically made from a biscuit-like mixture of flour, baking powder, salt, and milk. The dumpling, which is then dropped into a pot with hot broth Oof. and chicken, and cooked until doughy, like could noodle, be good actually. A staple for lower-income families. Mm, I'm not sure anymore, but could be good. The dish has become a favorite throughout the state of Arkansas, including some of Little Rock's most high-end restaurants. When you think of California cuisine, fish tacos likely come to mind, and for good reason. They were created by street vendors working along. Ooh, that looks kind of nice also. This type of fish, I, I'm, I, I like it a bit more. On this way. Who wanted a delicious, portable way to sell their catch of the day. The battered and fried chunks of cod, halibut, or tilapia served in a warm tortilla and topped with greens, tomato, onion, yeah, and lime juice. I, I'm eating that. everything fresh and sunny and ocean packed that there is to love about the Golden State. They're so good. I mean, look at this beautiful taco. <laughs> Probably not super healthy, but who cares, right? In and around the Rockies, people from Colorado are often called greenies due to the state's distinctive green Green chili states. Colorado. But there's another reason to call Colorado locals greenies as well. Their love of chili. What are you doing here? Verde or green chili. A popular dish first dreamt up by Spanish settlers. Green chili is a slow cooked mixture. I don't know. Mm, the presentation looks like shit, to be honest, but... ...of pork or chicken, plus green chiles, potatoes, beans, or tomatoes. It's a hearty, spicy, and slightly sweet stew that's perfect for the state's outdoor... I would try it. A bit sceptical, I have to say it. Normal chili, 
probably better than this one. For active lifestyle and brisk, unpredictable weather. The beloved hamburger already holds a place in the Comfort Food Hall of Fame, but in Connecticut, they've swapped out that frying for some perfectly placed steam to create their iconic steamed cheeseburger. Okay. Invented a half century ago in the small town of Meriden, steamed cheeseburgers take everything you already love about regular... Ooh, this could be actually a juicy one. I'm kind of digging this. ...burgers and make them better. They're juicier, the cheese... See, I know my stuff. ...is meltier, and the bun is even more moist and delicious. Yum. Yeah, I'm eating that one definitely, no doubt. Delaware's slippery dumplings are a wildly popular regional variation on the beloved staple chicken and noodles. In this case, the dish originated with the Pennsylvania Dutch, who also settled parts of Delaware. Slippery dumplings are a lot like traditional noodles, but also chewier and more satisfying thanks to their jumbo size. Because of their thickness... Mm. This is probably a maybe... But it's a maybe, maybe not, you know. Slippery noodles also tend to soak up all the flavors of the chicken broth they're cooked in, creating a delicious combo of safe. That looks disgusting. No, big pass. Bye. And slightly sweet flavors in every Out. bite. Believed by many to have been created in the Florida Keys in the mid 1890s by a woman known only as Aunt Sally, key lime pie is a class. Oh man, what we have here. This looks close to perfection. This crust, oh my god. What are we doing? Yeah, I, I would eat that. You can tell me this is some random stuff I don't get anymore. Looks so good, I would eat that. Classic comfort food dessert loved for its unique mixture of tangy, creamy, and sweet flavors. The pie typically consists of a... Everything with cookies is good. With in, in cakes or, or pies. Do you do you guys agree with me? Everything looks oh that this is pure gold. I like this graham cracker crust that is filled with a mixture of yeah, sweet that. condensed milk, key lime juice, and egg yolks, and then baked until set. It's then topped with lush whipped cream or frothy meringue, making it true. This is good stuff. Oh food. my god, this is good stuff. Not to be outdone by its neighbor to the south, Georgia too chooses pie. Oh, I love I love peach also. Uh, my my mother actually makes uh, a cake with peach that uh, is one of my favorites. Oh man, this is uh, this okay. Now we are talking America. This is good stuff, Georgia. As it's you got comfort me. Comfort food of choice. Only in this case, it's a pie that pairs perfectly with the state's official moniker of the peach. The Florida it's one was pie. also amazing. Nice peach, best in Georgia. Made with fresh, juicy peaches that are baked between two layers of flaky. Are you kidding me? That looks amazing. Golden crust, peach pies have become a staple of Georgia cuisine. <laughs> oh, did that so bad? Oh, did that right now? Go to option for countless family gatherings and picnics. A staple in Hawaiian culture for centuries, poke bowls exploded okay, in bowl. popularity across the mainland in the last few years. But if you want good, authentic poke, you have to go back to where the dish first started. A typical poke bowl consists of diced raw fish, soy sauce, sesame oil, raw fish. Out onions and seaweed Pass. served over white rice and you don't have to go looks good to be honest but mm, probably not my thing fancy to get good poke some of the islands i like sushi by the way but even sushi i like it because other people like it probably you know if if i had to, it would not be my my first choice by, by any means you know best comes from casual on the go settings like gas stations and convenience stores Idaho may be known as the potato state, but when it comes to comfort foods, its residents choose beef all the way. A half century or so back, a chef in Boise started serving up finger-sized strips of breaded, batter. Idaho, we are talking. This is also my type of stuff. Ooh, that looks good. So we have some steak here, deep fried. Steak good, deep fried even better. This, this is good stuff already. Put some, you know, some pepper. Perfect. Deep fried top brown steak and a regional favorite was born. Finger steaks have been popular throughout the state. Ooh, ever this since. is good. Typically served with a side this of is, cocktail this sauce. This is amazing. These crispy, tender shards of beef are salty and savory on the But it's kind of basic. That's the problem. So, but it's good. Who outside, guess? And moist and juicy inside. Perfect for a quick snack or a full on meal. Finger Oof. steaks. You have some strange foods in Iowa. Ever heard the term pizza? Oof. See, this is the thing, guys. 
I kind of like America, but Illinois X not going there. No, big. What the hell is this? Chicago style of pizza. This is tomato pizza. Oh my god, this looks bad. It's a pie. If so, then you might have been talking to someone from Illinois. This looks like a potato soup. Uh, uh, a pizza soup. For Not the a Chicago potato style soup. pizza, reign supreme. The ultimate deep dish treat. Oh my god, looks even better when you put the things that way. What the hell? People are paid to do this and people pay to eat this. Oh man, we live in a crazy world. Chicago style pizzas were created as an alternative to trendy, thin crust pizzas of the 1940s. They typically consist of a thick, buttery crust, tomato sauce. Even that uh, thick. Oh no. The, oh my god, this is a big, big no, 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 no. Cheese and toppings. Plus, the cheese is okay. A selection of meats and vegetables served in thick swaths. I may try it actually. Almost like a savory. I may not. Never mind. Savory Italian layer cake, delish. But is it really pizza? This is not pizza. This is tomato soup in a bread bowl. The European nation of Austria. That guy speaks facts right there. I I I said that also. Whew. Indiana. And the state of Indiana may not appear to have much in common at first glance, but they have one big thing in common. The populations of both love tenderloin. In Austria, it's the Wiener Schnitzel, and the comfort food of choice in Indiana is the pork tenderloin sandwich. A slab of luscious pork tenderloin thinly pounded, breaded. Uh, I eat this already. This is good stuff. You, you, you can find this in my country also. And served on a billowy bun. Talk about comfort. It doesn't matter how you prepare these golden ears, folks in it's good, by the way. Well, I can't get enough of the ever popular summer staple. So you have so many foods and this is the one you guys present me. Nah, this can't be true. No matter how you prepare these gold. Corn, really? Sweet corn. I like it, but come on. Oh man, this, this. <clears throat> This video is going downhill right now. The nears, folks in Iowa can't get enough of the ever popular summer staple, sweet corn. The comfort food of choice in the Hawkeye state, Iowa is the largest producer of corn in the <laughs> I mean, I would eat it, but nah. Nation, and the home to some of the most incredible, fresh, sweet corn you may ever get a chance to gnaw off the cob. Shuck it from that leafy green husk, cook until tender, douse it in butter, and let your taste buds soar. It's hard to imagine, but there was once a time when barbecue Kansas. masters cut off the ends of the brisket and threw them away, thinking no one would want them because they were burnt. They eventually caught on to the error of their ways, and burnt ends, the rich, smoky, and crisp. Ooh, that looks so nice. Oh man, and we are back. We are so back right now. Kansas is Kansas is is my 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 type of city. I'm telling you. Yet juicy tips of barbecued brisket have become the star of the show ever since. Oh man, in that Kansas looks good. City in particular, home to great barbecue, burnt ends are the Ooh, comfort food of choice. Oh my god, yeah, eat that, my man. Kentucky's hot brown sandwich is a late night snack turned to comfort. Kentucky hot brown sandwich. What are we cooking here? Comfort food classic. Created by Fred K. Schmidt, a chef at Louisville's Brown Hotel in the 1920s, okay. the dish was originally intended to feed out-of-town guests and locals who had danced in the hotel's ballroom until the wee hours. Schmidt drummed up an open-faced sandwich of turkey, bacon, and cheesy Mornay sauce, which he then baked and served hot. The sandwich was an immediate hit and has been quite... Oh, this looks kind of good also. Oh man, we are so back. Oh man, another eat. Look at that bacon. Ooh, you put bacon is is sitting again. You put bacon in anything, everything becomes good. Quenching cravings ever since. No dish says Louisiana more than jambalaya. A Louisiana jambalaya. Okay. Centuries old pairing of Spanish paella plus French and oh paella. Pa paella is very famous in in Europe, specific in Spain, like you said, but even in Portugal, it's quite it's kind of famous. It's really good actually. African culinary traditions and cooking techniques, jambalaya usually includes a selection of meat, vegetables, and spices, all simmered together with rice in a tomato-based broth. It's a savory and slightly sweet entree with a subtle kick of heat that Louisianans can't help but crave. Prior to the eight, I would probably eat that if it's similar to paella. 
1500s, lobster was considered a poor man's food and in such low demand that farmers used lobster meat to fertilize their fields. Today, though, lobster is a high-end entree and something nobody loves more than the folks living in Maine. As the largest lobster-producing state in the nation, maniacs know a thing or two about preparing in-demand Loki, that looks good. I was saying seafood is not my thing, but Loki, that looks kind of kind of good. Oh man, maybe I have to change my mind on this topic, but that actually looks kind of good. Seafood, and they can't get enough of the lobster roll. Chunks of fresh lobster mixed with mayo and served atop a buttery toasted bun. It's mm. a comfort food classic. Yeah, like I would eat that. Roll, crab cakes are another dish inspired by a regional abundance of seafood. In this case, Maryland and the state's incredible blue crabs. A classic Maryland crab cake usually includes fresh lump crab meat, mayonnaise, breadcrumbs, Old Bay seasoning, mustard, and Worcestershire sauce. These ingredients are mixed together and shaped into patties that are then fried or... I would eat that also. That looks nice. I mean, yeah, it's seafood, but uh, again, it's fried, so I would eat that. Broiled until crispy on the outside and tender on the inside. It's a dish so popular that locals have been scarfing it down for nearly a century. Mm. Another East Coast state, another perfect seafood-inspired comfort dish. This time, it's clam chowder, the comfort food of choice throughout the state of Massachusetts. This simple yet hearty soup, which combines chopped clams, potatoes, onions, bacon, and either milk or cream, has been uber popular through- Milk in a soup! Oh my god. Man, come on. So much potentially actually in, in, in this one, but why milk? Throughout the Bay State since at least the 18th century. Ugh, and Jesus Christ. In fact, America's oldest restaurant. Oh my God. Someone stop this. The Union Oyster House in Boston has been serving the soup consistently on its menu since the place first opened up way back in 1826. How does a Coney Island-inspired hot dog end up the comfort food of choice in Michigan? Think Greek immigrants who were inspired by the hot dogs they ate in Brooklyn and took that idea west to their new homes. Numerous Coney Island-style restaurants popped up throughout Detroit in the early... I need a really good explanation for what is that brown stuff. 1900s, and some are still in operation today. The star of their menu? The classic Coney, a beef hot dog topped with all-meat chili, yellow mustard... All meat chili. Okay. That's okay. This is good stuff. Yep. We have another winner. This is really good stuff. And diced onions and served in a warm steamed bun. Ooh, that's good stuff. Than a classic all beef cheeseburger. Well, if you're. Those, what the hell is this? This looks. This is insanely amazing. She's inside of the meat. What type of, you know, witchcraft to, uh, are we doing here? If you're from Minnesota, your answer has got to be the Juicy Lucy, a beloved Minnesota delicacy. Oh my god, that looks good. Okay, actually I have to run it back. What is the state? Minnesota. Hmm. Yeah. So Minnesota it is. Like the, the first state I will visit. If you're from Minnesota, your answer has got to be the Juicy Lucy. Jesus, that looks good. Oh my god. Beloved Minnesota delicacy. Am I tripping on this? This looks amazing. The, the Juicy Lucy is a rich, savory beef burger stuffed with cheese. And as that burger cooks, that cheese melts into a molten core of golden gooey goodness, just waiting for you to bite into. Out of towners may add onions, pickles, or bacon, but locals keep it simple and let their Lucy shine. Oh my god, those guys are genius. Give them the Nobel Prize. We, we, we are dealing with something special here. Oh, Minnesota. As legend has it, Mississippi's Po' Boy got its start when a pair of former streetcar conductors turned restaurateurs and opened a popular eatery. To give back to the community, they handed out free sandwiches to folks who were down on their luck. The sandwiches varied considerably. Some had roast beef, some contained chicken fingers, and some packed fried sea- Chicken fingers? Food, but they all had one thing in common. They were served on a French-style baguette they called po' boy bread. The name baguettes are kind of popular also in my country. Stuck, and Mississippians are still clamoring for the sandwich even now. The story of that could be good, I would say. Toasted ravioli is a simple one. A tired Mr. Mm, was rushing to finish an order he was working on when he accidentally dropped a few large ravioli in hot oil instead of boiling water. The restaurant. I like ravioli, by the way. 
restaurant's owner tried to salvage them with some Parmesan, and everyone loved them. Soon, these toasted ravioli were popping up throughout St. Louis, before spreading across the show-me state to the rest of the country. I guess That's a great idea, man. The only thing I was thinking I did was uh, get some toasted ravioli. Uh, you know, I, I grew up on that, so anytime I come back here, I always got to eat it. A classic Native American dish that's been popular in Montana for generations, fry bread tacos take everything there is to love about Mexican food. And you guys really like tacos. Are we in, in Mexico? What's going on? And elevate it with the warm, yeasty, crisp bite you can only get from fresh baked bread. Starting with fried bread, you then top it with spicy seasoned ground beef, tomatoes, cheese, salsa, and sour cream. No wonder the fried bread taco is such a favored comfort staple. If you haven't could be good. I, I see some potentially on that one. Spent a lot of time in Nebraska, then the Runza sandwich may be. Oh man. Ooh, what are we? What we have here, my friends? Nebraska. I always liked Nebraska for some reason. Ooh, what is this? I'm seeing some nice meat with an amazing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Explain to me. A mystery, but for any true corn husker, there's no debating the incredible appearance. That looks good. Oh my god, that looks good. Can okay, I have to eat after this video? Heel of the Runza, believed to have been brought to the state in the late. That does not look that good anymore. Oh man, that's the the meme, you know, reality versus expectation versus reality. 1800s by German and Russian immigrants, a typical runza consists of savory pastry dough that's stuffed with ground beef, onions, and cabbage, and then baked to a crispy golden brown. The regional delicacy is so popular that it's even inspired a fast food chain which operates almost exclusively within the state. Maybe it's I would eat that. Yeah, I would eat that. I mean, some photos are a bit tricky, but um, oh, okay, I mean, I will try it. Nevada's linked to all those famous 19th century cattle drives. Maybe it's because Las Vegas was home to the country's first ever all-you-can-eat buffet, where prime rib was a main attraction. Maybe it's the famous roaming prime rib cart at Laurie's The Prime Rib in Las Vegas, which carves and serves up slice after slice of succulent prime rib tableside. Whatever the reason, when it comes to com this is good stuff again. Comfort food in Nevada. You guys are, are are doing some amazing things in America. L let me say it. Nothing gets more love than tender, juicy prime rib. Ooh, that's Comfort good. Comfort foods often blossom in regions where ingredients are in the greatest supply. So, what do locals in New Hampshire, one of the nation's leaders in the production of maple syrup, flock to when looking for a taste of home? Maple syrup, of course. And what goes better with a kick of maple than a mountain of pillowy, soft, warm, buttery pancakes? I mean, okay, this is good, but mm, I would, I mean, pancakes, you know. And they're not just for breakfast. Throw some bacon or sausage on the plate to sop up that syrup, and you've got a classic comfort meal for any hour. Uh, it's Depending good stuff. On where you grew up in Jersey, you may call the state's official sandwich a pork roll. Oh, I love pork. Or you might call it a Taylor ham. But however you order it, the ingredients are the same. Slices of processed smoked pork roll ham that's pan fried until crispy and then topped with egg and cheese and then placed between two slices of a Kaiser roll or sliced. This is good stuff, I'm telling you. Bagel. It's simple. It's affordable. It's versatile. And it's it good. It works for every meal. And for Ooh, folks that looks in the good. garden state, nothing tastes more like home. When I go to the store, I say pork roll, egg and cheese. One of the most popular of all comfort foods in New Mexico is what's known as albondigas or Mexican. Yeah, in in Portuguese is almondigas. This is this is really good stuff. But the, the the best ones are from Sweden. Meatball soup. Imagine a sea of homemade beef and pork meatballs swimming in a zesty tomato broth with some added chunks of carrots, potato, and zucchini. That's good. And you have a pretty good idea just why this dish is so widely loved across the state. Talk oh, this comfort. is good. Buffalo wings were created in Buffalo, New York, at the Anchor Bar, which is still in operation today. These crispy fried wings are doused Ooh, in the Ooh, that's also good. Oh, okay, New, New York. I mean, never disappoint. Stingy, spicy sauce, and served up with a side of blue cheese dressing, plus celery. They remain a favorite across oh. the Empire State <sighs> even now, nearly 60 years later, and have spread across the nation to become a favorite of sports fans everywhere. 3,000 tangy wings packed in a black contractor bag thrown straight through your window in time for kickoff. Okay. North Carolinians know that few culinary dishes pack more beauty than a giant piece of pork shoulder. Oh, North Carolina. Sweet. No, maybe it's not North Carolina, the song, but this looks really, really good. 
stir slow cooking over fire. Oh man, that looks good. I, I love uh, I love pork, like I said. So this is a winner for me. The hours long process infuses the meat with rich, smoky flavor while also breaking it down until it's melt in your mouth tender. When it's done, pull it apart to serve it. And you've got a Carolina pulled pork. The only thing left to debate oh, is whether you top it with... That looks so nice. Oh. And this type of stuff you just need, you know, some nice bread, put a bit. You, you don't even have to put sauce. If you want to put a bit sauce, that's okay. But that's that alone is, is amazing. The vinegar-based sauce, popular in the eastern part of the state, or the tomato-based sauce, popular in the west. Choices, choices, choices. Leave it to the folks in North Dakota, one of the nation's leading producers of potatoes, Keepers. to figure out the ideal way to make an already craveable potato even more delicious. All you have to do is dip your chips in chocolate, of course. It may sound odd, but the... Uh, no. <laughs> no. I don't believe it. What? This is crazy. But kind of genius at the same time. Unique marriage of salty and sweet. Because potato is good. Chocolate is good, so this should be amazing. It is an ideal union, and this is one treat you don't have to live in North Dakota to experience. Just melt some chocolate and add a chip. It's that simple. The Buckeye is a classic Ohio Never comfort that. food that you have to try at least once in your life. This candy confection consists of a ball of peanut butter and sugar dough that's been dipped in chocolate and then chilled until firm. The name for the candy comes from the state's official tree, which produces a similar looking nut that is mostly dark brown with a speck of lighter brown that is said to resemble I the eye that. of a deer. That could be good. and pretty darn tasty. Like Indiana's breaded pork tenderloin sandwich, Oklahoma's comfort food of choice also draws inspiration from the classic Austrian dish Schnitzel. Only, in this case, the protein in question is a breaded piece of steak. And instead of eating it yeah, this looks pieces good. of bread, the classic chicken fried steak is typically served next to a mound of mashed potatoes and topped with Ooh. a rich, savory gravy. It's the perfect down-home traditional meal oh, for this one is of the good stuff. that leads the nation in beef production. Nothing wrong with green beans and a chicken fried steak. Named mm. after the Pacific Coast town known as Dungeness, where it was first harvested commercially, Dungeness a crab has been a staple of the Oregon culinary landscape for decades, and for good reason. As fresh seafood goes, it's among the best you can eat. Sweet, delicate, and slightly nutty flavored, the meat from the crab is tender and moist, and perfect with just a slight hit of butter or freshly squeezed lemon. In Pennsylvania, the com a note for me, sorry. For food of choice combines bits of ham, bacon, sausage, and other unwanted pork scraps, plus cornmeal and spices, to make something altogether new and unique. Scrapple, cut into slices and fried up with breakfast, or cubed and added to omelets, soup, or stew, Scrapple is a meat product you have to try in order to truly <laughs> It looks so disgusting. I I'm not sure about this one, also, my friends. Appreciate. Scrapple, I don't want to know what's in it. <laughs> I don't even want to try it. Eyeballs and tongues. It has everything imaginable in it. Rhode Island has taken clams in a different direction with the stuffy. Made from fresh chopped clams, plus breadcrumbs, butter, onions, celery, garlic, and spices, the stuffy mixes all the ingredients together, scoops them into a shell, and bakes them until golden brown. For many who grew up in the ocean state, Could stuffies be good, epitomize actually. summer and family trips to the beach. Exactly the memories you want from a beloved comfort meal. The comfort food that folks in South Carolina jones for the most is actually a dip, and an incredible one at that, pimento cheese. Made from a simple blend of grated sharp cheddar cheese, plus diced pimentos and mayonnaise, this spreadable comfort in a bowl is great with fresh veggies or crackers. It can also be used in sandwiches. Try it in a grilled cheese. Life-changing. Pimento is a cheese. They call it the caviar. She's one of the best shows ever. Of the South. Whether people in South Dakota are attending a festival, a fair, or a backyard barbecue, there's always one amazing comfort food on the menu, chislik. A variation of the Persian word shishlik, chislik is a play on the classic shish kebab, brought to the region by German and Russian immigrants who settled the area in the late 1800s. The dish... This is good stuff, yeah. No, I'm Typically telling you. consists of bite-sized cubes of lamb, beef, or venison that are seasoned with garlic, onion, and black pepper, and then grilled or deep-fried. Everybody knows and loves classic American fried chicken, but kick that crisp, juicy treat up a notch by Ooh, adding what chicken pepper, is even better. paprika, garlic powder, and black pepper, and you've got a Tennessee favorite, Whew. hot chicken, believed to be the result Tennessee, my type of people. ...result of another fortuitous kitchen blunder when a chef accidentally added too much spice in her fried chicken, the dish has now become part of the cultural fabric of Nashville. Make sure to order yours with dill pickles. The cool acidity helps to cut through all that fire.
Texas is the home of Tex-Mex, an incredible fusion of traditional chili con carne. and American cuisines. Okay. And the star of the Tex-Mex family oh, is that chili looks con carne, good. Oh my god. I knew Texas would not disappoint me. That looks good. Oh my god. Ooh, that red, red bean is so good. Ooh, this is good stuff. This may, this may be the winner. Just saying, this may be the winner. Because I love this stuff. I eat this this stuff, uh, would not say often, because it's, it's a bit heavy, honestly, but uh, I, I I love it. Traditional Mexican stew of meat and chili peppers. The dish is a hard. I do it similar to, to that one, actually. That was a natural fit for the Lone Star State's early cowboys and settlers. Oof. Made from a mix of ground beef, chili peppers, onions, tomatoes, and spices, chili con carne is great on its own and even more spectacular when topped with shredded cheese, sour cream, and diced onions. Jesus, that stuff is. Oh, this is heaven in art. Don't worry, funeral potatoes aren't actually deadly. Funeral potatoes. Oh my god, that's dark. That's just the name Utah's Mormon community has given this highly comforting potato casserole classic. It's ideal for a lazy Sunday brunch, large family get together, or any community potluck. The basic funeral potato recipe includes cubed potatoes, cream of mushroom soup, sour cream, and shredded cheddar cheese mixed together and topped with. Could be good, actually. Oh man, those are uh, alive potatoes in my book. Corn flakes or breadcrumbs before baking. Creamy, savory, and perfect for sharing. Oh, how would Vermont that? is home to some of the world's top apple orchards and is a leader in the production of apple cider. So adding that crisp, refreshing juice to donuts was a natural idea. Apple cider donuts are typically made from a mixture of flour, sugar, baking powder, cinnamon, nutmeg, salt, eggs, butter, and of course, apple cider. The dough is fried and then coated with a thick layer of cinnamon. Mm. I don't know. I think donuts are so good the way they normally are. I would try it. Cinnamon and sugar. Look for homemade versions at farmers markets and roadside stands throughout the state. They're a Vermont staple. Long before egg McMuffins, there was the Virginia ham biscuit. Ooh, one ham of the is first so good. Portable grab and go meals and a classic old Dominion comfort food even today. First created back in the colonial era, ham biscuits were originally all about the ham. Almost all rural families raised and smoked their own meat, and putting a couple of slices of that homegrown ham in the middle of a fresh biscuit, perhaps with some added mustard, mayo, or honey, was considered an ideal way to help the meat shine. Washington State is that. one of the leading producers of sweet cherries in the U.S. And we have a problem right there. Cherry. Nah, not my thing. And when you have a lot of cherries, you make cherry pie. Yikes. This delicious confection has been a popular dessert and one of the state's most beloved comfort foods since settlers first arrived. I don't know. Red stuff. It's a bit ironic because I like chili, but ooh, I don't like this one. In the region and brought their cherry trees with them. Oh my god. Yikes, yikes, yikes. A perfect mixture of sweet and tart flavors, cherry pie ticks off all the boxes for just what makes a comfort food so appealing. One of West Virginia's most beloved regional specialties, the pepperoni roll, is a bit like a roll. Ooh, pepper I love pepperoni. Pepperoni roll. Ooh, ooh we have some potential right now. Let's see. Rolled up slice of pizza, except it's made with a thicker, flakier bread dough. And the average pepperoni roll tends to be stuffed with way more filling. Mountains of pepperoni, shredded mozzarella, onion, peppers, and marinara sauce, all heated to perfection inside the portable bread shell. Originally created by Italian immigrants working in the state's coal mines, the humble pepperoni roll has since gone on to become the official meal of the mountain state. Oh man, I would eat that so bad. No, this is my type of food. Wisconsin is known for its cheese, so it's no surprise that their favorite comfort food is a cheese-based dish. Cheese curds, bite-sized chunks of leftover fresh cheese that are produced during the making of other cheeses like cheddar, Colby, or Monterey Jack, are one of the state's most popular appetizers and snacks. The shards of cheese, which squeak... That looks insanely good. ...when you eat them raw, are batter-dipped and then deep-fried to gooey perfection. Wyoming is one of the largest states in the nation, but also the least populated. Fortunately, all that wide open space leaves plenty of room for natural wonders, including the country's largest herds of buffalo or bison. Bison burgers use some of that abundant meat. Ooh, that looks good. Oh my god. And I bet that meat is amazing. Oh my god. Swapping it for beef in any classic hamburger recipe. The result is a leaner, greasier, slightly sweet tasting <sighs> burger that folks in the equality state can't get enough of, with the popularity of bison burgers exploding in recent years. Whew. 
Good stuff. I mean, uh, some, some I, I like it a bit more than others, but overall, amazing food. Man, I, I, I in, in one end, I, I'm happy that I don't live in America because I would gain a lot of weight, I, I'm sure. And I already struggle with that, by the way. So imagine living in America will be even crazier. But I mean, that's great food right there. That's most of that stuff is my, my type of food. If I go, if, if I live in America, I, I would be really happy with the food. Oh, the, the, there is one or two, maybe three or four that I did not like that much, but overall really good stuff. Leave a comment telling me what's the, the state you live and uh, what food uh, you, or, or even the food you like in, 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 in a specific state would also be nice. Because create, create interaction and I'm also really, really good at. That's it, guys. Do not forget to leave a like. See you guys soon. Bye.